So I have uh, plugged in my diagnostic machine and let's see what it can see on the Citroen Ami. So I've got 2022 automatic ID and let's see if you're gonna see it. All right, so we have the VIN number, we have the mileage, we've got the vehicle, so that's good, that's okay. That's, that's all the only ECU available is the electric vehicle one and I've got service exits and relearns. What's this? Let's have a look. Relearn brake light switch. What, what is this doing? Brake light command. Nah, we're not playing now with this. What else? Let's go to the ECU itself. Let's click on that one. So we got codes, any codes? No codes, that's good. Functional tests, what do we have in here? Actuated tests, okay. And we got passenger compartment ventilation control, passenger compartment heating control, right hand direction indicator controls, left hand direction indicator control, brake light command, wiper control, screen wash control, Control backlight control and control of indicator long foundation indicators. Hmm. Let's uh, see what this does. Okay, let's click start. Whoa, the fan is on. It's actually working. All right, let's, let's choose right hand direction. See if that works. Start. Oh, it does look oh it's off how cool exit what else let's have a look all right we know what that is uh okay let's see data command status what do we have in here we have as you can see passenger compartment ventilation switch hazard light switch switch and release state Okay, wiper control voltage 4.99 volts. Okay, what else? Uh, let's put it in drive. Let's see if it's gonna what's changing here. Oh, so if I press on the button, it tells me that it's pressed. I release it. It's released. Okay. All right, let's try something else. What else? Traction, battery, parameters. Let's have a look here. So we've got the voltage of the ancillary batteries, 13.8 volts, 14.9. Percent charging of the traction battery, 86%. Oh, so current of the traction battery, it's 1.5 amps, 1.3 amps fluctuating. With the headlights on, rear taillights, and all the lights inside. I'm curious. Let's turn the fan on. Right. So now it's gone up to 2.3. Ah, let's turn the heating on as well. Wow, that's going. 20 amps now so the heater is it's drawing straight from the 48 volts battery apparently you can see traction battery which is a big battery the voltage is fluctuating it's almost 20 amps let's turn it off yeah so the heater is powered from the uh 48 volts battery this is why when, when we go uphill if we turn on the heating the speed will drop as well well good to know next time turn it off all right let's see what else we've got here exit let's go vehicle information so we've got mileage voltage on the accelerator pedal also it's a two track 
with uh, half the voltage okay nothing complicated here status of secondary brake pedal switch and status of the main brake pedal switch also it, it seems to be a dual brake switch okay status of parking brake blocked status oh, let, yeah let's see it goes to released release state okay functional condition of the vehicle and ignition key in starter position no okay let's exit here what's next electric drive machine information so we have torque demand of the vehicle electric drive machine speed rpm i'm wondering is this rpm of the motor i'm gonna have to try that tomorrow morning when i'm going to work i will just try that i'll see what's there and estimated torque of the electric drive machine so that's kind of it oh i think i can do what is ecyd let's see what says here ECU type BVCU PSA reference additional reference and protocol ID CAN KWP 2000 okay anything else that's it that's it that's all you can do with this machine right so I was just curious to see what I can see with my machine you saw it as well all I would want from this vehicle would be just to go uphill 28 miles per hour would be absolutely awesome but maybe in the future somebody will figure out how to do that anyway thanks for watching I hope you found this video useful and uh, I'll see you in my next one